Welcome back everybody, welcome to your 20 tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to hopefully finish our list activity and I'll hopefully be able to uh, explain everything otherwise I'll create another one. But uh, what we're going to do now is we want to actually set up a class and you know start activity method which you guys are familiar with that um, but first we need to set up a class object and basically this is going to be kind of sketchy because you know there not, might not be a class name like that or there's something else that could go wrong so we're going to say uh, try and uh, within the try brackets this is where we're going to do the magic if you know what I'm talking about and sorry if I, this is kind of boring or I'm not enthusiastic enough as you can see up here it's 425 in the morning and I need to get some sleep so I just want to finish this this uh, little well, you know, activity class list activities for you guys. So, um, here first we want to set up an object called class or from the class, a class object. There we go, and we're gonna call this selected. And basically, um, this is just like any other variable we set up. And we're just gonna hover over, and we'll get to that in a second. All right, I guess we don't have to import class because Java knows what that is and what we want to set this equal to is basically a class name so we're going to extend from the class class I guess and uh, we can use some methods so we're going to type class and then for um, um, I'm sorry and we're just going to pass in a string here for for that method there so basically for name and what we're going to do here is we're going to say com dot my bring back or whatever you guys your guys's package name is and then dot the basics if you guys are following exactly like I am and then dot make sure you have that last dot in there and then in quotations and then we're gonna say plus and uh, basically we're gonna say this open class so set that up here So what this is doing real quick is we're setting up a class called selected and it's going to come from or basically it's going to be a string called com.mybringback.thebasics plus whatever has been passed in our list position so it will be like com.mybringback.thebasics.menu and what's happening is right here is you can see our package name and that's where all our classes are so that's what we're referencing is com dot my bring back dot the basics dot main or dot menu dot suite dot tutorial one that's why all these have to be exactly as their class names so that's what we're doing and then after we set up the class name what we want to do is we want to set up an intent because you guys know we need an intent to uh, start an activity so we're gonna just set up an intent and we're gonna say this is called the selected intent I don't know whatever you guys want to name it I'm getting kind of, it's getting late like I said and I can't really think of clever names or you know anything really so we're gonna import the intent and what were you gonna set selected intent uh, to be we're gonna say new intent whoops new intent capital I and then we're gonna pass in the context this and uh, selected So, oops, not Intel. Freaking Intel. All right, there we go. Um, all right, so basically we set up an intent um, of this class or of this this context, and it's going to look for the selected again, which is that method, or I'm sorry, that class that we set up, which is going to be whatever button they push. No, it's kind of confusing, but uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then all we have to do is say start activity, and now we're just going to say selected intent, which again that will be what we set up just here. So it's basically whatever button is pressed, it's going to give us the position. The position is going to tell us um, basically the string name and uh, of that position and then our class is basically going to be our package name plus that string name that we got the position from and then we're going to set up an intent 
of the class and then we're going to open that class by starting that intent uh, I don't know that was kind of a brief description but the only other problem we're having is every time we use a try again we have to say finally or a catch so we're going to add a catch clause real quick and what we're we going to pass in we're going to pass in something called class not found exception E, just kind of the standard exception, is called E. Again, this is just the name of it, um, and it's this kind of variable. So there we go, and then we're just going to say E dot print stack trace method, and there we go. Now, basically, our activity is done, but I just want to show you guys. I'm going to run this real quick. All right, and see, this is the error I kind of wanted to show you guys. It's because we push one of these things like tutorial one now um, we can go when we hit the back button it's gonna again open this class um, our our list view class and then we hit back again so basically that causes a problem when you hit like menu and then you go list view and then you know menu again list view suite so there we go and then we're just going to hit back, back, and as you can see, there's a lot of them before our application actually closes. So that's why I didn't want to include the menu one, but there's also kind of a, of a fi uh, fix, but it still won't be fixing the menu one. So I just want to show you guys that we're going to import the on pause. It's again, kind of a good review here for you guys. Um, again, it's from the activity class, which we're importing, and we're just going to look for the on pause method because again anytime an activity starts to close down you know someone calls your phone or a text message or even you start a new activity uh, it's gonna call this on pause first so we're just gonna say finish and we use this for our splash screen as well that's again just the method that's gonna finish this uh, list view class so now I'll get rid of that problem and again I'm just gonna go through briefly everything we did even though I think I kinda explained it all but uh, we extend the list activity instead of a regular activity. Uh, set up a string array with the names of our classes. They had to be specific names. And then instead of saying set content view, we set up an, a, list and, a list adapter, which takes in a parameter within its parameters a, a array adapter, um, which was a string type array adapter. And then it takes the context of this. Uh, class and then this is just a simple um, list view item that the SDK has and then we also pass in the string array for our last parameter then anytime one of those items get touch or get touched uh, man I don't know anytime anytime someone you know clicks on one of those items it's gonna call this on set item click method and that again passes in a list view, view, ints, and long. We didn't really use the view um, for the most part. Well, kind of. We use it in this super. Um, basically, it set every, pass everything into the super. And if you guys are still getting an, an error, all you probably need to do is say at override. I'm just going to do that anyways. At override on top of there, um, on top of this on set item click. Uh, do that and um, I'll explain that later as well but uh, there we go so we set that pass this into the super met, uh, class and then we're gonna say string open class and this is just gonna be whatever item was clicked on um, it's gonna set it to that and then we need to set up a class basically this is gonna change according to whatever was clicked on it's gonna be our package name and then the class name and 10 is gonna be you know basically what that class was set up as then we're gonna start that class so yeah that was a terrible description hopefully you guys kinda of get what's going on there but um yeah thanks again for watching I'll get I'll catch you next tutorial I need to get some sleep have a great rest of your day have a great rest of your night wherever you're at whenever you're watching this peace guys